Now hello there. It's time for another science lesson. Today we'll be looking at the uniqueness of man. Uniqueness of man. Now moving along, at the end of the lesson, learners should be able to define mammals and state their characteristics. Define primates and state their characteristics. Give examples of primates and mammals. And finally, identify man under both primates and mammal and identify the uniqueness of man from other animals. Now moving along, we'll be looking at the topic. What are mammals? Mammals are animals that produce their young ones in the same form as their parents. They have fur or hair on their skin. They have mammary glands to feed their young ones. And they are warm-blooded. In other words, they maintain a constant body temperature now from the picture that you that you see here these are the list of mammals that we have in which man is one of them we have the beaver we have the raccoon we have the arctic fox the mouse the crow the deer the fruit bat and so on these are all examples of mammals now moving along we'll be looking at the topic the heading what are primates Primates are mammals that possess the following characteristics. They have nails on their fingers and toes. They can stand upright and move with their two hind limbs, that means legs. They have their eyes in the front of their heads and can all grasp things with their hands and even with their legs. So you can see we have some examples here. We have chimpanzee, we have monkeys, we have the lemur. We'll be looking at other examples. Now these are the examples of primates. We have the gorilla, we have the chimpanzee, we have the resource monkey, we have the lemur. We have man also included in this list of primates. Now moving along, we'll be looking at the uniqueness of man from other animals. Human beings are classified under living things because they carry out all of life's processes. Human beings are classified under animals. They are mammals and belong to the class called primates. Now, although animals are classified, uh, human beings are classified under animals, they have qualities that distinguish them from other animals, such as the ability to think, solve complex problems, learn, communicate, and control their Look environment. Look at this one after the other. Now man has a larger brain which has, helped, which has helped him in the area of reasoning, problem solving, abstract thinking and so on. The shape of man's backbone is an S-curve shape. This enables him to stand upright and walk with his two legs. Man also has the ability to create things, measure things like time, weight, length and so on. Man has the capacity for speaking and developing languages and other means of complex communication. Man is highly intelligent. In other words, he has the capacity to act purposefully, think rationally and deal effectively with his environment. Now these are the ways by which man is unique from other animals. Now this has brought us to the end of our lesson for today. We are going to look at the summary very quickly. Mammals are animals that produce their young ones in the same form as their parents. Primates are mammals that possess nails in their fingers and toes, among other qualities. Although man is classified under mammals and primates, he yet possesses qualities that distinguish him from other animals. Such qualities are reasoning and problem solving skills, backbone that can make him walk and stand upright, capacity for speaking and developing languages and is highly intelligent due to his large Now, brain. I want to pause this video and attempt to answer these questions to see how much of the lesson you have understood on your own. And I'll see you again in the next class. Bye-bye.